Here is how I make Twitch emotes. Also, in case you didn't know, I have an Etsy shop in which I sell Twitch emotes, overlays, etc. These are all my emotes that I sell or some of them. Also, if you want to know how to make emotes, I have a full tutorial on my YouTube, like multiple tutorials. Like if you look up Cat Lanty emotes, you'll just get a whole bunch of tutorials. Anyways, I draw most of my emotes in Clip Studio Paint, so let's open that up. All right, we're gonna go make a new canvas and I work in a 2000 by 2000 canvas with a resolution of 600. For sketching, I like sketching in a darker pencil. So for drawing chibi emotes, we're gonna start with a circle. And then for the body, literally just think of it as like a trapezoid. Bam, we're done. And I like to draw like a small little C shape for the cheek and start it at like two thirds of the way down from the top of the head. I personally like drawing monkey ears. So we're gonna draw one and the other. I just like these like little me ears. I don't know, they're so cute to me. So for eyes, we want the eyelashes or the, the eye line to start at the top of the ear and we're just gonna draw a semicircle. Okay, that was way too small. You know, I'm gonna kind of like sketch this out. So something oop, like that. I like to make it really thick. So I'll double up the um, thickness of it. So I'll draw the line like multiple times. Okay, fixed it. It's hard to draw while like looking through your phone instead of like at your canvas actually. So for the iris, we're just gonna draw a circle. But make sure you, like the part of the circle intersects into the eyelash line, if that makes sense. And mouths look cute when they're drawn closer to the eyes. So this does not look very cute, but this looks quite cute. For eyebrows, I like to keep it pretty simple. One line like this, one line like that. So this is looking good. This is too small for an emote. There's like way too much white space between the emote and the edges of this canvas. So on your keyboard, hit Control T and then I'll bring up this transform tool. We're just gonna go and like make this dude bigger. All right, for hair, like I learned this from Colleen, who is such a funny artist. She basically said, treat the hair like little bananas. So we're gonna draw a banana, eh, banana for one side of my bangs and then I'm gonna draw another banana for the other side of my bangs. And then we want to give some extra room for fluff. So if you notice, I'm going to draw the top of the head, like the hair above where I actually drew where the top of the head would be, just so I have volume in my hair. Also, I was a little bit kidding about the trapezoid thing. We're going to give ourselves a small little neck. I like to draw these small little curves here. And then we're going to fill the trapezoid shape though. So I'm just going to draw the shoulders like this. It's still within the trapezoid. And I'm going to give myself clothes as in one t-shirt because I just wear a ton of t-shirts all the time. All right, ta-da, our sketch is done. Come to part two to figure out actually how to do the line art. Part two on how I make emotes for Twitch. In part one, I showed you how to go do the sketch. And in part two, I'm going to show you how to do the line work. Shameless plug, I have an Etsy shop and I sell emotes and stuff like that on my Etsy. And I have YouTube tutorials on this. Just go to Catlanta Emotes. There's so many. Anyways, here is the sketch that we ended up from the previous video. You know, fun trick in Clip Studio Paint. You see this button. If you click it, it will change the layer color. I originally drew in black and I changed it to blue. This is super nice when you're sketching because then you can sketch in black and then change the color to blue once you're done sketching. So when you line on over it, then you can see the sketch layer separately from your line work layer and everything won't be like gray blobs. So we're going to make a new layer on top. Just click that plus button. I like to lower the opacity of my sketch so it just makes more sense in my brain. For brushes, I use the pen tool and I use the G pen. I changed my art style a little bit, so now I use my thick liner as a size 60, and I use an off black. I never select pure black because it looks very harsh, and pure black as a color is just not found naturally pretty much anywhere, so it looks unnatural when it's also done in art. So using our G pen for the thick line art, we want to line things that would separate the silhouette from the everything else. Like, what are important elements in this emote that would make it stand out against the background, okay? One, the back of the head, obviously, that's a big one. It is so hard to draw when you're staring through the camera on your phone instead of actually at the canvas. Anyways, the second one that I like to separate is the body. So, you know, the neck and then separating the actual body, you know, my little shoulders away from the rest of the emote. And the last thing is the jawline because there's a big distance between your jawline and the back of your hair. Sorry, wait, I lied. And the eyelashes and the mouth. Now, on a new layer below the layer that we did our thick line art, I'm gonna use a size 25 brush and line everything else. I fixed the hair a little bit and we're done. And next, we're gonna want to add the flat color, which is just all the colors with no highlighting, no shading, rendering, any of that. It's literally just coloring within the lines. My one tip for selecting colors though, do not select all the way over here to the left-hand side unless you're working with like pure grays. And do not select all the way over here to the right-hand side. It is way too saturated. It's gonna be blinding on the eyes to look at this color. Pick from somewhere in the middle. Part three of how to make emos for Twitch, rendering edition. I might break down the rendering tutorials into multiple steps. So this is going to be how to render skin. Let me know in the comment section, which would you prefer? Me to do like quicker tutorials, but cram them all into one video or do more in-depth tutorials, but it will take multiple separate videos. Anyways, if you want in-depth, Check out my YouTube. I have Twitch emote tutorials. I have multiple actually. Anyways, I digress. Here is my emote with flat color. Let's shade the skin. So we're going to find whatever layer our layer with the skin is. We're going to make a new layer and clip it to the skin layer below that. We're going to color select the skin layer and then go over here to our color wheel. 
This is the color. We're gonna drag this closer to red. Be generous and then drag this down and over to the right a little bit. Ugh, this looks good. In terms of brushes, I shade with the G pen. All right, we're gonna slap some color on. So generally, again, shadows would hit wherever the sun wouldn't. So your neck is generally cast in a shadow because your jaw sticks further out. I like to draw a little bit of shadow over the eyes as well for like eyeshadow. That is so much eyeshadow. Also, because like your hair sits in front of your face, it would generally cast a little bit of shadow onto like wherever is near your hairline, bangs, whatever. I'm sorry, I look mad greasy right now. So we're gonna do something. Oh, something like this. And then over here under the blend mode, we're gonna go look for wherever it says multiply peep my Baymax. All right, and then we're gonna lower the opacity until it looks nice. Let's make a new clipping layer over that. Now we're gonna do the opposite. Let's select the skin and then in our color wheel, we're gonna move it in the opposite di opposite direction of red and then select it closer to the left. We wanna get closer to white. Now we're gonna highlight. We're gonna highlight opposite of where we cast the shadow. So since we put a shadow on the neck, the jaw was the part that sticks out the most. So I'm gonna add a highlight on the jaw and on the tips of the ears because I like ears that stick out. And then let's make a new clipping layer. This is my personal preference. I like grabbing the airbrush tool and then grabbing it closer to red. And then we're going to get a big airbrush. And then I just like adding like a little bit of fun color to where I added the shadows. All right, skin done. Part four of how to go and make emotes for Twitch rendering edition. This is how to render eyes. So in the previous video, I showed you how to render skin. So this is what we are working with so far. And if you want more in-depth tutorials, I have a YouTube video, multiple YouTube videos, and this is my channel about how to make emotes. Anyways, we're going to find the layer that we colored in the eyes, and we're going to make a clipping layer over that. And then we're going to want to color select the base color of the eyes, and I'm going to drag this closer to like a true red. And then I'm going to drag the color selector down and to the right. I am once again going to use my favorite G pen, and I'm just going to draw a semicircle across the eyes like this. And then we're going to drag this color selector down, and I am going to draw the pupil. We want to make it large because it makes our eyes look dilated and like fun and excited. I don't know. Now we're going to want to grab the airbrush tool and then I'm going to select in the opposite direction. So gold colors are a really nice highlight for brown eyes. So I'm going to grab gold. I have my airbrush at the 300 and I'm going to airbrush on the top and on the bottom of the eyes like so. If you want, you can also add a little bit in the center of the pupil like this. Now I'm going to grab a lighter gold color and I'm going to go back to, bleh, my, to my G pen and I'm going to draw an oval and then a little dot and then another oval. These are like cute little eye highlights and I'm going to do the same on this side as well. Under the blend mode here, we're going to want to set it to overlay. I just find it makes it look nicer. And then here's the fun part. We're going to grab almost white. I don't like working with, again, pure white or pure black. It's just super harsh, but I'm going to like grab a smaller brush. And we're going to draw the whites of the eyes. This is what gives it life. I like drawing one big one and then one small one kind of diagonal from it and then adding maybe like some extra dots. Ta-da! Here are our chibi eyes. Part 5 of how I make emotes rendering edition. This is how to render the hair. So this is what we're working with in previous videos. I showed you how to do the skin and how to get the eyes. And again, if you want end-up videos, I have YouTube videos about this. This is my channel and I have like a bajillion videos. Anyways, on the hair layer, we're going to want to make a clipping mask over that. Since my hair is two-toned, it's a little bit more complicated, but we're going to want to select the darker of the two colors anyways. I'm going to drag this color selector closer to red, and we're going to drag this down diagonally towards the bottom right. I like using the G pen for this, but we're going to want to draw our shadows for the hair. So typically anywhere around the base of the neck would have shadows ex with obviously exception to the bangs. And then if you have any like cowlicks or underside of the hair, there's going to be a shadow falling there as well. This is me personally. I like drawing like a C-shaped shadow going both ways, or this is more like an hourglass shape, I guess, at the very top of the head where the hairline is. So if you have a side part, I would do the C-shape on the part, like the side part. And then like any shadows that would be caused by the bangs as well. Once we're done in the blend mode selector, we're going to go swap this over to multiply and lower the opacity to where you see fit. One thing I also like doing with hair is adding um, highlights. So I'm going to color select the lightest color, which is this red, or airbrush highlights, I mean. So then I'm just going to drag this color selector away from red, and then I'm going to pick closer diagonally towards the top left. We're going to want to grab the airbrush, and we're going to make this airbrush pretty big. I don't know, like 700. And then I'm going to airbrush in this ring area around the middle of the head like this and like this. And for this, for the blend mode, we can go select screen and lower the opacity until you are satisfied. 
Now I'm once again going to color select the lightest spot and we're going to do the same thing, move it like close or away from red and then diagonally up. I'm going back to the G pen and I'm just going to draw a big ring. So like this, and we're once again going to make this a screen layer and lower the opacity until you're satisfied. And finally, I'm going to select an even lighter color closer to white. I'm going to make the G pen smaller. I don't know, maybe 80 would, no, 80 is too big, 40. And I'm going to add a highlight along the side of the head opposite of where we drew the shadows. And you know it, we're going to make this a screen layer as well. All right, ta-da! The very last step is to color our line art. For that, I use the airbrush tool. So I don't color the thick line art, this like thick outer line art. I only color the thinner line work. So for instance, for the top of the head here, I don't need to color this because this part is like blending in. But for everything else, I'm going to select the darker color of the red. And then I'm going to drag it down diagonal towards bottom right. And I'm going to airbrush everywhere that the red hair um, has line art for. I'm going to do the same for the eyes. And I'm going to color the eyebrows. Oh, and the shirt. Ta-da! Here is our emote!